Chapter 153 of Chainsaw Man called Chainsaw Man Hunters starts off with the carnage of last chapter's fight, all strewn about the floor, messy and gross. But even after that fight, Denji still stands up and screams that it's already over. He shouts to the crowd around him, asking if they saw it. He beat all the big bad devils. But they just stare at him in fear while he doubles over in pain for some reason. Blood then spurts from his wounds and he falls down shouting in pain. Naita meekly asks Denji if he doesn't want to be with her. And I wonder if it's going to come back and bite Denji since if Naita goes rogue, any number of things like Makima can happen. Suddenly, a group of people charge at Denji and armed with spears, they attempt to corner him. He looks at them and their weapons, but a man suddenly appears with a megaphone, announcing to everyone that it's a mass devil outbreak and they should all evacuate and take shelter indoors. Denji asks if he can evacuate too, and one of the civilians around him are surprised by him suddenly speaking, but another says he heard some of them talk. They then throw a net over Denji, trapping him in place, and he screams in anger. And poor Denji, he just can't seem to catch a break. He asks them what the big idea is, and Fumiko jumps in trying to help Denji, and she tells the other civilians that this chainsaw man is safe, and he's not their enemy. The civilians look around, and some of them turn to this older woman, who seems to be very scared. She tells him that Denji was in fact fighting the other devils, but she can't say if he's friend or foe, and Denji himself jumps in saying it's for real, he's on team human dudes. One of the civilians doesn't seem to be phased, and instead stabs Denji, shouting that his friends ate his grandpa, and Denji just screams in pain. They then pour gasoline over him, and they shout that they need to light him up, light the fire. And they hurriedly ask for a lighter while Denji just continually shouts ow and calling them pieces of crap. Naita tries to intervene asking them to stop since Denji is the real chainsaw man. But the civilian says there's all the more reason to kill him since it could lead to his wife turning human again. And Naita is left confused at this asking how and what he's talking about. And the man continues saying that his wife turned into a chainsaw devil so killing chainsaw man could get rid of the chainsaws in everyone's head. Naita shouts that there's no way that would work, but the man pushes her away, knocking her down on her back, and Denji screams for Naita, tearing through the netting. He accidentally slices the arm of the civilian, and blood spurts out to everyone's horror. They all suddenly shout that he's dangerous since he's attacking humans, and they call again for a lighter. Just as they flick it on Denji, he shouts damn it and slices the hand of the guy carrying the lighter, and it falls to the floor with a thud. The rest of the civilians shout to keep stabbing and not to stop, and Denji is left with little options at this point other than to just grunt in pain. One of the men asks if anyone has another lighter, and they all turn to look at each other. Denji then questions that if they need a lighter, they should just use the big one that's burning down his building. Suddenly, an older woman grabs Naita from behind and tells her to come with her since it's dangerous, but Naita screams for her to let go and that Chainsaw Man is family. The civilian, however, responds stating that that thing is not your family anymore, and we see Denji screaming in pain, unable to do anything, as he's stabbed over and over again. Naita is left trembling and thinks of Denji when he showed his love for her. She seems to have an idea, and suddenly a man has his spear yanked from his grasp. He turned around, and the older woman, now under control of Naita, punches the man away. She then screams at Denji for him to run away. And the chapter ends there, and we definitely knew this was going to happen. Since turning into Chainsaw Man, he was definitely going to get pushed back from the public, as his image is now tarnished by the church. He's gonna have to get used to not being praised for who he is, and will have to contend with whether or not he should fight humans or not from now on. I wonder if Naita will have to do that as well, but she seems to have found a workaround to keep her promise to Denji in order to not kill humans, by taking control of them and punching each other instead of using weapons. But before we get into the rest of the chapter, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe, it really helps my small channel grow. Also, I've made a Patreon and it's in the description below, support me if you'd like. This new chapter of Chainsaw Man 154, called All Pets, starts off with another of the civilians getting punched by the woman Naita to control of, and Denji tries to call her name, but is stopped short as multiple other people are now taken control of by her chains and starts punching all of them. 
The ones that aren't controlled are confused by what's happening and backup is asked over the phone, where some more civilians are told to head to the house fire where they're located. Naito then surprisingly asks Fumiko for help, saying she can only send out three chains at once. But Fumiko just mutters that it's hopeless and bails on them, saying she's out of there. Naito angrily asks why and that she thought she was a Chainsaw Man fan. But Fumiko retorts that she's a public safety officer first and a fan second, risking her life for him is outside of her job. Which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, might be a complete ass pull since quite literally only a few chapters ago, she said she was going to risk her life to protect them. So this sudden change of attitude is either a bit of a blunder by Fujimoto or she's up to something else and I pray it's the latter. Fumiko goes on to say that even Chainsaw Man would be in trouble if his heart got snatched, so Naita needs to do her best to save him. But Naita again pleads for help, and since their family just died, doesn't Fumiko feel bad for them? But Fumiko just coldly responds, family? Weren't they only pets? And while Naita is stunned by her response, she just disappears into the crowd. Naita calls her a diarrhea woman, and the rest of the civilians announce that all of the controlled people are now subdued. They then shout that this must be a devil's power and one has to be nearby. Naita angrily tries to linger back in order to not get spotted, but suddenly Barum appears behind her still alive and crawling on the floor covered in blood. He shouts over to Naita saying that she is the devil and since she did this to him, they need to kill her. The civilians are initially hesitant since it looks just like a kid, but then the woman who was first controlled speaks up, asking for them to get off her since she's in her right mind now. She stands up and looks at Naita and states that this girl called Chainsaw Man her family. Naita insults her while all the people are left questioning if she really is Chainsaw Man's family member, since it's hard to tell because she's just a child. One random civilian then spouts some nonsense that he heard Chainsaw Man believe his kids are also sprouting chainsaws and killing their parents. But one guy correctly asks who told him that and he responds saying he doesn't know. And it starts to make sense now, the true villain of this arc, misinformation. Fujimoto is definitely exploring the rampant misinformation and ease of spreading rumours have in this world. People are literally just making stuff up and getting away with it, but I'm glad that this guy was challenged on his comment. Suddenly, Naito points at the guy and now taking control of, he picks up Denji in his arms and runs off, while the rest of the civilians try and chase after. Denji calls for Naito and speaking through the man, she says that it was a big mistake that Denji said he didn't need her, and he's then carried off into the alleyway, far away from the battle. And do you remember when I said Naito was smart in punching the people rather than killing them to not break a promise with Denji? Well, things are about to change. Naito is now left surrounded by these civilians, but she thinks to herself that since she's finally alone, there is no one to get mad at her, and taking control of the person in front of her, she announces through him that she can kill all the humans now. While she slashes away and stabs the humans through the other humans, she continues to monologue, stating that she thought she'd get a battle high like Denji, but discovers that video games are more fun than killing, and states she could never be a chainsaw man. Suddenly, the man seems to not be controlled anymore and screams out in pain after getting stabbed, but the rest of the civilians rush him and kill him. Just then, one man plunges a spear at Naita, and she luckily dodged even though she was cut on the shoulder. She retaliates by kicking the man in the balls, and then shouts to the army in front of her to stop, and that she's just a kid. This momentarily puts a pause on things, but all of a sudden we hear a gun click, and it's revealed that Barum is pointing a pistol in her direction. And the chapter ends there with the final panel showing Barum now pointing the gun at her ready to fire at any moment. But I don't know if that click means the gun is cocked or it's just that the gun has run out of bullets. We'll just have to wait and see on that part. It's now coming to the end of the video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy you stopped by. My channel is steadily growing and I'm amazed at the support I'm getting. And I also have a Patreon now, so feel free to support me however you like. The link will be in the description and I will shout out names at the end of each video. Thank you again, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.